Hey, 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 hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how you can create redeem solely in Vignon. Yes, if you know if you're using Twitch and you want to create redeems and you don't want to go to the website every single time you want to create a redeem, in Vignon you can actually have it where you can create redeems inside the program itself and it updates real time. Really awesome, right? So allow me to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into menu up here, click on settings, then you're going to click on Twitch. Then what you're going to do is click on uh, create redeem, select on the new redeem here. Then let's say we want to have a redeem where we wanted to toss stuff at us. So we're going to call this, um, let's say, um, yeet stuff let's say that just so it doesn't get confused with my existing one then we're going to make the channel point let's say to 500 for instance um you can have it where it requires user input but usually i like to be usually i like it to be disabled the input prompt is your description so you can type in throw stuff at the streamer so we can have that you can use a global cooldown. Remember the minimum is one minute basically, so I'll put mine to 90. Uh, just an example, you don't have to set up a cooldown, but you may want to, uh, depending on if your peeps might use your redeem. And then click on save redeem. And then you have a new redeem called Yeet Stuff. And if I were to go to the website right now, and I go to where there's a 500 area, and I find Yeet Stuff, there it is right there. And yes, it does update real time. So um, if you click on Save Redeem, it will update. If you don't click on Save Redeem, it's not going to update. So keep that in mind. Now, in order for this redeem to actually do stuff, we now have to go into nodes. And I'll show you how to set that up. So you're going to go to node graphs here. Click on add new graph here. Then you're going to go to the top here where there's callback nodes, click on channel points. Then what you're going to do is find the, uh, the action node for throw item. Click on that, connect these together and make sure that you name it accordingly. So if I go to settings here, this is named yeet stuff. So make sure it's spelled exactly how it is. Then um, you can set it up to be apples. Let's say we want this to be 10 and then Pretty much, uh, if this channel point were to be active, it will, it will really hurt. So yeah, um, so pretty much every time this node is active, um, you know, basically when the channel point is active here, basically it will speak with this basically. So yeah, um, so it will work pretty much, and that's pretty much how you would make um, a redeem inside inside of Vignon so it can work on Twitch. There is no redeem sadly for YouTube though, but you can of course have YouTube support so Vignon will detect that. But for Twitch, you can set up the redeem solely inside. You don't have to always go to the Twitch website. You may want to still check though, but otherwise you can do it all in here basically, which is epic. Um, now, I will also say, so, okay, so now that you pretty much have that, and also just a quickly show in case anybody is curious, um, because I, I always have to talk about the water example. If you, by any chance, want to have a, a channel point redeemed that has a timer on it, so, like, after a certain amount of time, it, you know, stops automatically, this is how the node looks like, and, um, I think there's a way... I think there's like a better way of update of uh, a more smaller node version of this, but sadly I have not found an alternative. But basically what you see right here, this is basically how you would set up the timer thing. You could pretty much just copy this template. In fact, my beginner node graph, which is still relevant to this day, you can actually just reference off of that. Uh, or you can even just fully download it and be done with it pretty much because it already has pre-existing redeems basically. So yeah, I just want to make sure this is all covered right here basically. So yeah. And, oh yeah, uh, one last thing before, uh, now I finally remembered it. So basically, let's say for instance, uh, let's say for example, you are, you know, let's say you guys are having fun on stream, and let's say so many people kept spamming a certain channel point. Like, let's say you have the throw item, and it's five channel points, let's say, just an example. So I'll, I'll, I'll do this real quick. So let's say we have this set to five channel points, an example. Uh, so we have that. We're going to set this up real quickly and let's say you have it where people have been spamming it and you don't want that to happen anymore like people are just 
using it too much, uh, or it's starting to get really distracting or something like that, or it's used for malicious intent, basically. So there is a way you can actually have it where you can set up a hotkey to actually change these settings, basically. You can do that. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go ahead on the callback notes here. You're going to scroll down and find hotkey. Then what you're going to do, I believe it's called, yep, edit Twitch redeem right here. So Twitch. Uh, and then you can connect these together, basically. Let's say we can have this to one. And then we're going to go ahead and select the redeem. So we're going to have geek stuff. And then basically, um, you can pretty much just copy from here, basically. So that way, um, you know, you can have like similar settings, basically. But let's say we want to have it where it's set to 500 instead. And then I'll just copy this out. Set it to be that. Um, set it to however you want, basically. So there you go. And just to show you, just to show you that it's, it works. So you're going to go here, right? So we call it Yeet Stuff. So it's around the 5 area. So up here, it is set to, you know, 5 channel points. Then, if I were to press on 1, and I go back, as you can see, now it's at 500 channel points, basically. Which is really nice, again, if you have ever a case where people are spamming, or maybe you want to have it... It doesn't even have to be like, oh, you want to make sure there's like, um... A, you know a hotkey to change it if someone spams your channel redeem but this can also be really nice let's say for instance you want to have it where um let's say for a certain event or something you want it where people do spam it instead then you can have a hotkey to toggle it on and off basically which is really nice basically so yeah um it's definitely really really um like let's say oh i got a good example so um i know someone they have this redeem where um if you redeem a certain amount of channel points basically let's say ten thousand channel points or something like that um it will allow the chat to spam a certain noise basically and vinyan does have sound nodes too so you can have it where like um you can have it where like for a redeem where you spam noise or something like that. Um, you can have it where you could just press a hotkey. And then you can have it set to like... You can set up timer nodes. So that way it can only last for a certain amount of seconds before it reverts back to its original self. That is like... It, it, that's, that's a good example of what you could do. You could do a lot of cool stuff with it. But for now, just so I don't overwhelm you with too much knowledge. I think that should be it pretty much. But just know... The cool stuff is here. Or it's been here actually. I just never made a tutorial yet but now i i now i have a tutorial so yeah uh but i hope that this tutorial helps you out on setting up twitch redeems inside of vinyan basically and let me know if you have any other questions and such and yeah uh please join superdose discord server if you have any other question regarding vinyan and i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you guys next time bye bye Thank you so much to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to get access to extra perks and further support me and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake membership. Otherwise though, just you guys watching is just enough support for me and I appreciate every ounce of it. So, either way though, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!